that enough? Smoke store. Oh, what a long day I've had. Um. Alibaba, 40 thieves, you know. Great show. Just just one problem. I said that uh, there's there's one problem. <gasps> Angry pants! <laughs> No, 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 it's not, it's not Andy Prank. No, it's just that one of the actors was hit by a flying sweetie and was <gasps> thrown out of the stalls. Ouch! Exactly, you know, he's had to go home and we're an actor short. Hmm. What am I going to do? It's going to be a disaster. You can't have Ali Barber and the 39 Thieves. Hmm. I've got to find a replacement for the next show. Tomorrow. I mean, there must be somebody out there who can act. <gasps> Princess Fatima! It's me! Right. Nev, let's, let's talk. Listen. Um, Princess Fatima's not in this show. Mm. I know, mm. sorry. Um, I'll tell you what you can do, though. You can help me decide who can be in it. Somebody who's got even more star quality than you. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Beetroot! Yeah! Hey, Beatrice! Nice one. Oh, hang on, though. What happens if Beatrice gets stage fright? I mean, that'd be bad for her and the pantomime, wouldn't it? Oh, no, it's OK, cos what I can do is I can hold an audition and then Beatrice can try out first. Confused. What, an audition? Well, that's when you get loads of people together who all act out the same part and then you give the job to the best actor. Would you like to appear in our panto? Pantomime auditions at 2 p.m. in Barney's flat. There. That sounds OK, doesn't it? Groovy! So in the morning, I'll get some copies made, give them to Posty. She can then deliver a leaflet to everyone in the building, and uh, including Beatrice, of course. What exactly are you doing? Jam! Um, socks! <laughs> The largest jam and sock tower was built in Blackpool and stands over 15 metres high. <gasps> oh, wackadoo! This book of amazing records has some amazing records in it. <laughs> 15 metres. Oh, me and Nibble beat that. No worries. Oh, jam and sock tower will start down here and then go up through the hallway, up, up and away. <laughs> oh, more socks. Must be one of Angry Pants socks. They always pong the most. <laughs> oh, nice jam. <laughs> Nev, can you send down some more socks, please? Socks? Okay. Okay, Nevy. Now tomorrow, first thing, I'll start building the jam and sock tower down here while you make a start up there. Got that? Yeah, yeah. Tip top a -roo. Night, Nevy. Night, night, Keith. Make sure everyone gets a leaflet, Barney said. Oh, it's a pity Beatrice isn't in. Oh, Mr Prank, his copy of Caretakers Weekly. Oh, he'll love that. He's so good at his work. And his leaflet for the pantomime auditions at 2pm. Oh, he'll make such a wonderful actor. <laughs> It's called a letterbox. Feel free to use it. <laughs> oh, I love it when he's moody. I mean, can you believe it? Even after all those leaflets, not one person has turned up to the audition. Not one person. <gasps> well, no, except you, of course. Princess Fatima! <laughs> Nev, why is there a smelly, jammy sock on the floor? Mm. Oh, at last! The leaflets have paid off. Turnipy, or not turnipy, that is the question.
Questio me. Whether tis noblier in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of the... <clears throat> I'm sorry about the odd socks, Mr. Barney, sir. I've been losing my usual socks for my sock drawer all week. Highly suspicious. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> when do I begin in the pantomime, Mr. Barney, sir? I'm free this evening. Well, it doesn't quite work like that, Mr. Prank. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is an audition, and yeah. so we're going to be seeing other people for the role as well. <clears throat> I I'm sure they'll, they'll be here shortly. Let's talk about your audition. Yeah. OK, you're playing Ali Barber's 40th Thief. 40th. OK. Your lines are, who cuts my hair? Why, it's Ali, of course. Ali Barber. You see, it's, it's, it's funny. It's a joke, OK? It's, uh, easy? Uh, easy. <clears throat> Peasy. <clears throat> Who cuts the hair? Uh, no, no. Who cuts the hair? Why? Why not cut some hair? Wait, well, is your hair being cut? Sir? This is your hair. Uh, no, no. Uh, is this your hair? No, is this my hair? Uh, is this Alice's hair? Why, it's Ali, of course. Ah, uh, yes, that's why. Right. <laughs> Why, it's Barry, of course. This is the hundredth time, and he still hasn't got it right. Uh, okay, Mr. Frank, shall we, um, shall we, uh, shall we try this again? <clears throat> yes, sir. <clears throat> is it my hair? 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 Oh, um, sorry about that, Mr. Barney, sir. The bear. Allergies. <clears throat> so, do I, uh, do I get the part? No way, Jose! Mate, I've got no choice. <clears throat> OK, Mr. Prank. <sighs> You've got the part. Thank you, sir, thank you. You will not regret this. <clears throat> OK, well, don't forget to learn your lines, OK? You've got to be word perfect by the time I get back. Perfect word! <clears throat> Uncle, are you ready yet? Dressed as Ali Barber's 40th thief. Uh, wow! Yeah, thank you. Can we go now? Certainly not! <laughs> I have to rehearse for my big role tonight. Here, stick that in the CD player. Me, me, ma, ma, ma. Greetings, fellow thespian. Greetings, Sir Oliver. Let us begin with the actor's most important tool. Yes. The lungs. Yeah, situated here. Ah. Mm. Let's start by opening our mouths <clears throat> and breathing in slowly and deeply. <clears throat> slowly and deeply. Ah. <clears throat> Vocal, vocal call, vocal call. I think you broke it, Uncle. It's that blue bear setting off my allergies. All right, let's not worry about that now. Now, my first line is, uh, my first line. What is my first line? Who? Cuts my hair. Yes, yes, of course. Who cuts my hair? Why, it's... This is boring, Bandit. Wake me up when he gets it right. <clears throat> Mr. Barber cuts my... Yes. Who cuts the... Lawn. Lawn. Why, of course, it's... Sean. Got a Sean. The prawn. The prawn. Yes. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack? Huh? What's that? There's no quacks in the script. Fair. Oops. <laughs> uh, you blue, blue, firm all. <laughs> you beauty. What do you think of that, squealers? Yeah. Up she goes. 
Holmes. <laughs> this jam and salt tower is built on very strong foundations. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Up and away! <laughs> oh, strip! It's starting to look like the leaning jam and salt tower of Pisa up here. Better go and find some more socks and build it up a bit. <laughs> Where are you, Bear? Oh. <sighs> he sure is a fast runner. Yeah, well, he needs to be. But I'll deal with him later. No time now. I've only got an hour left before my big roll. Oh, is it tea time already? No, not that sort of roll. My pantomime roll. According... To Sir Oliver, you have to get into the part. Pretend he really exists. Oh, I know. Why don't you pretend to be a thief and I'll pretend to listen whilst I go get some ice cream? Perfect, yes. Go, go. <laughs> yeah, I reckon old Angry Pants will have some socks I can borrow. Lammy, what is he wearing? <laughs> because I am the sneakiest thief they have ever met. <laughs> I'm going to pinch everything they own for none of those fools. Know that this is a brilliant disguise. <laughs> what can I do? I am a master burglar. Work. Oh, I need to tell Nev that Angry Pants is a real life thief. Oh, wacker! <laughs> <laughs> well, Bouncer Boy, what did you think of that? Eh? Huh? Oh, oh, brilliant! Yeah. Well, let's hope my public agree. <laughs> Can I get some more ice cream? I'm hungry. Ooh. I might try and sell some ice cream at the interval at the pantomime. Wobbly. Nibby! Ah! Can't scare me! Oh, it's Angry Pants. He's really a thief. I heard him planning a big robbery. We need to find the police. <laughs> Frank 999, Nibby! Hello! It's me! Quick! Run! Angry Pants! Oh, hello? Is that the police? What he's trying to say is, there's a thief on the loose. Name a prank, Mr. Andy Prank. Spell it. That's it. 200 chocolate ice cream tubs ready to sell. And still 10 minutes more left for rehearsal. <laughs> Maybe you should get back into character, Uncle. Good thinking, Bouncer Boy, yeah. I'm on the trail of the suspect right now, Sarge. I've got his description here. Suspect is a short, bandy-legged male with bad skin, thinning hair, tiny little piggy eyes that are too close together, and a disguise that makes him look dead shifty. Stealing the gold will make me the richest thief in the kingdom. I'll call you back, Sarge. Right, Frank, we know you're in there. What did you say? I said, come out with your hands up! Well, no, actually, I didn't say that, but I am saying it now! Uh, who, and more importantly, where are you? I'm here. I'm PC Morse, and you prank are under arrest. Put your hands up. Uh, I think there's been some sort of mistake. Oh, cool! A real policeman! Silence! Uh, there's no mistake, no. sir. We're acting on a tip-off. Oh, yes. You think I'm a thief, don't you? Well, I am. Well, well, I can explain. Actually, I'm an actor. And I'm in a pantomime at the moment. Wobbly. 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 Uh, and if I don't get ready soon, there'll be no 40th thief for Alibaba. Well, I suppose it does seem possible there may have been some mistake. Oh, yes, yes, there was, yes. Right, well, I'm going to let you go this time, Mr Pants... Uh, prank. 
But I'm warning you, I shall have my eye on you from now on. So just try to stay out of any more trouble. Can I take me hands down now? Yes! <laughs> I wonder who told on your uncle. Oh. I've got quite a good idea. luck in the panto today. I hear you got the part. I'm afraid there'll be no panto for Uncle. He's lost his voice. <gasps> oh, no, Mr P. Oh, I used to be a nurse. What you need is a throat gargle. Mr Frank. Huh? Oh, OK. Ready to go? Yes. Yes, indeed, Mr. Barney, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> now is the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by this son of York. Oh, Mr. Frank! <laughs> so, with any lines? <clears throat> who cut your hair? Ali, of course. Ali who? Ali Barber. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Just fantastic. No, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Barney, sir, would you mind if I use the bathroom before we go? Just in case I get caught short, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure. Thank you, sir. What's that? Are you okay, Mr. Prank? Mr. Prank? Who's that? What a stupid name. Oh, no. He's got amnesia. What? No, you can't have. That's when you forget stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What have I forgot? Who, me? I, I haven't forgotten anything, have I? No, 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 Mr. Prank, Mr. Prank. Hey, Mr. Prank. Right. No, you're in a panto. You're in a panto, remember? You've got, you've got lines. Panto? What, what, what panto? <laughs> That's panto ruined, isn't it? Where am I going to find a thief for Ali Barbara this time of night? Is everything all right? I just had a terrible crash. Beetroot! Beatrice, everything's fine. Honky dory, in fact. Tell me, have you ever acted before? Here I am. Oh. Oh, look, a beautiful princess visiting the sick. How charming. Confused. Oh. Oh, and you bought me some flowers. What a lovely kind gesture. Are they daff? Da... Uh, uh. Uh -oh. Yeah, the panto was a huge hit, mate. 
Beatrice. Well, she was brilliant. No stage fright at all. The audience loved her. Sibidia! She's even thinking of taking her back to in the future. No, no, she's not. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. No, no, she's not. <sighs> night, mate. Night, night, Barney. Love you. I love you, too. Uh, who, who cuts your hair? Why, it's, it's the barber. No, no, I mean... Ouch. I know. Poor old Mr. Prank. I hope he feels better soon. Me too. He's not going to win any acting awards, I don't think. Who, who does my hair? Ali Barber. Why, it's, it's Ali, of course. It's good old Ali the Barber. It's behind you! <laughs> Sean the sheep next, and ah, oh, some newborn chicks think Sean's their mum. Isn't that sweet? I'm sure I trust his parenting skills, though. And later on in Best of Friends, another five mates get their friendship pushed the limit by Rani and Abs. Will they remain strong, or will the lure of a tasty treat be too much? The new CBBC has landed. Look out! Get off this planet! I'm coming to find you. Ah! Let the fun begin. Whoa, tapes! Remember those? What a bunch of animals! There had to be a monkey keeper. Six kids, a creepy oh. gothic tower, oh. and the seven turns been trapped. Awesome TV this autumn, every weekday. The all-new CBBC.